Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. In my last episode, I was working with this homemade aluminum smelter, which is behind me, and we had a little problem with the crucible uh, melting on the bottom, and this was just a steel coffee can, so obviously this was not strong enough. So now we're gonna go with a used propane tank, and we're gonna hopefully melt some aluminum in this, and pour that aluminum into some molds, and make some cool little metal trinkets. Alright, since my coffee can crucible did not make the cut, I'm going to use this propane cylinder. Uh, it's a little stronger steel, it's a little thicker steel, and I'm not 100% convinced that this is 100% empty. So before I go taking a hacksaw or a sawzall to it, uh, I don't want a jet of flame to come out, I don't want this thing to go blasting across the room, so I need a safe and preferably uh, distant way to make a hole in this. So. We should be all set. So that one actually had a little more juice in it. And yeah, you can see it pouring out there. So it sounded empty when I shook it, but obviously it had a little bit of pressure left because that uh, exit hole is much bigger than the other one. I still think I'm gonna be able to use this because I can just cut it off below uh, that exit hole. So we should be okay for a crucible now. Okay, so to do my forms, I'm gonna fill the box with some sand. And then once I've leveled this out, I can stamp some things down into it. I'm just gonna do this flat casting to start with and see how that goes. Again, this is homemade charcoal from a fire pit. All right, well, I'm still having trouble with this thing because my aluminum is sort of a gel instead of a liquid. It's just kind of this gooey sludge, and I think it's not getting hot enough uh, to really float the impurities to the surface where I can skim them off. So I'm out of my homemade charcoal. I've reloaded the thing with commercial charcoal, and we're gonna try to heat it up again and see if we can get that aluminum to stay liquid. So the same thing happened again bottom of my crucible just melted out. So if you are trying to do this at home, be aware this is way, way harder than most of the internet videos make it seem. Uh, this is my second attempt with this thing and I am getting nowhere. Okay, we're gonna try this again and I'm gonna do something a little differently this time. This is how much slag or waste was in there from those cans. And this is how much actual aluminum was in there. So that's a huge difference in aluminum to waste ratio. So there's not actually all that much metal content in these cans, it's mostly just garbage. So I have to melt a lot of these to get a little bit of metal, and there's going to be a lot of that stuff floating on the top. Now I think my problem with these last two crucibles is that I was attempting to scoop that molten junk off the top, and I must have pushed too hard and I pushed the bottoms out or blew a hole in this one. So instead of trying to scoop the junk off the top, uh, I'm going to do what some other YouTubers have done and try to pour the molten metal from the bottom, leaving that junk behind, and supposedly that works. Supposedly you can just pour the liquid metal out and it'll come out from underneath without dumping all that junk into your form. Uh, the other thing they recommend is doing two pours, one of the metal into something like a muffin tin and then later remelting the metal and using that for your actual creations. All right, we have got it up to temperature. Um, I've got about 10 beer cans in there and there's a lot of slag on top, but I'm hoping there's a core of molten metal at the bottom. So we're gonna turn off the fan, we're gonna pull out the crucible and we're gonna try pouring into our little manhole molds here.
Well, we've still just got kind of a aluminum slag pancake in there. There's, there's still really no molten metal in this. This metal does not want to pour. It just turns into metal fluff when I try to move it. So I've thrown a bunch more cans in there and some aluminum foil and I'm going to try to pour it again. All right, that went pretty poorly again. Um, I did get one thing poured into my form, and then a bunch of gunk came out, and the slag has a bunch of aluminum mixed in with it, so I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if this is too hot or not hot enough. It's definitely hot enough to melt and deform my crucible. So let's try the other method. I've gathered up a bunch of the more pure blobs of aluminum that have come out of my failed attempts, so I'm going to try to melt those down. Come on. All right, so I've got what looks like molten aluminum in there, but it sure won't pour, so I think I'm probably just not getting this hot enough to really keep it molten, because as soon as I start to pour, it just gets sticky. All right, so after three different attempts at melting aluminum, I have this as my entire product. All of my other aluminum kind of vanished into the metal baklava of that slag, so... I did manage to cast this little manhole, which looks terrible, honestly. I was trying to copy this Ninja Turtles manhole, and it came out looking like a lumpy cookie. So I could keep poking at this smelter until it worked, but if I've learned anything from my speedboat project, is that I could just poke at this for six months and get nowhere. So I'm going to give up for now. I'm going to set aside my aluminum smelting idea and maybe I'll return to it in the future, maybe not. I'll have to do some more research and see what was I doing wrong and what could I do better. So this may or may not show up in a future video. We'll see what happens. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my other videos for a variety of projects, many of which actually succeed, and we'll see you next time.